Hey game developer, Roblox Pro Academy is here and did you know that Roblox just dropped super exciting feature which is called Roblox Cube? It's a generative AI that allows you to create 3D stuff right inside Roblox Studio. But also it allows you to do it even during the gameplay. Imagine this, you're building your scene and it lo looks super empty and instead of spending hours in Blender creating 3D objects you just type some text, hit enter and boom, your world is filled up with AI stuff. It's totally a game changer. And today we are diving into Roblox Cube and here is what you will see. First we are going to combine scene using assistant in Roblox Studio. Then I prepared the super exciting features where you can generate objects, generate your own monsters inside a mini game and I will demonstrate how to do it and also share all the source code so you can replicate the game and repeat the game on your own. And at last we will check what Roblox use under the hood and how do they generate these models. I think it's not just a cool feature, it's a game changer, we change how developers build their scenes, their worlds in Roblox. So let's go! Okay, so first we are going to build the simple scene inside Roblox Studio, so let's open it. Okay, so it's just a simple base plate project. First of all, you need to enable this feature in Roblox Studio. To do this, it's super simple. So now generative AI is in beta, so you need to go to file, beta features, and here we need to enable two checkboxes. First, you need to check assistant mesh generation, which will allow you to generate meshes with an assistant. And the second one, we should check texture gener generation, which will allow you to generate texture for meshes. These two checkboxes should be checked. You need to click save and restart your Roblox Studio if needed. Now, after we enable features, let's start with building some simple scene. I would imagine that we are going to generate a dining room in the castle. And we are going to build a place where king and queen eat food. So first, I was thinking, let's generate a table. So let's start with a table. Well, what we need to do, we need to I use the system, we need to start with a generate word and then type what you want to generate. So first of all, let it be medieval wooden table. And let's click enter and now we need to wait. It takes some time to generate object. First, it generate mesh itself, basically a 3D object, and then it applies a texture for this mesh. As you can see, Mesh is generated and texture is in progress. Okay, now once your mesh is fully generated, you will see this insert button. You can rotate and if you like what is generated, you can click insert and it will publish your mesh and automatically insert to the scene. So let's wait. Okay, it's added. Oh, nice, so it's here. Let's move it somewhere here and let's check the size. I think the size is perfect. Okay. Probably can make it a little bit smaller. So let's move mm, scale. Yeah, so to en enable scaling now as you can see it's scale it incorrectly. I need to group it as a model and now it will scale all the sizes. Okay, I think that this is good. Our queen and king would like to have some goblets. So let's generate it. Generate silver silver goblet. And let's wait, it's also generated. Let's insert it into our scene and we'll place it on the table. 
okay where is it it's huge so let's make it a little bit smaller i would assume we need two goblets like one for the king one for, one for queen okay now we have two we need to build plates so generate antique plate and while it's generating let's move the goblets okay now let's wait wow looks nice putting this object as well to this team okay oof it's it's huge <laughs> convert it to model and make it smaller okay a little bit bigger like this and let's copy to have another one okay looks great now probably need some spoon for them let's generate spoon need to wait a few seconds for the generation to be completed the spoon is ready let's insert it it's super huge so let's make it smaller it let's make it oops I think it's it's okay let's and yeah, let's move to the other side okay looks nice our center of the table looks empty we need to place something here maybe an iron candle holder and we'll see what will happen okay it's here and let's also fix this slash and let's go for this model and let's make it smaller the last element i would add here is generate king dining chair again slash and now we need to add a chair wow nice let's insert it super cool and let's add one chair for queen and one chair for king fix size in here need to convert to model and make it smaller like this looks good let's make copy rotate and place another one and imagine how powerful it is so you can build whatever you want just in a few seconds you know what I'm going to show you something even more. I'm going to show you how to generate your objects, not only in studio, but in your game. So let's move to the next section. Okay, now let's move to the second, the most interesting part where I'm going to demonstrate how you can generate the object inside your games. In our Roblox Pro Academy, we have a virtual world where I prepare mini games you can join and see how does it work so to do that you need to go to roblox pro dot academy and here on the home page in the top sidebar you see roblox game link you need to click on it and now you'll be redirected to roblox and here is our academy game where we have not only lessons we have a super exciting five levels puzzle game and also AI lab where you can try generate AI. Okay, now we need to join Roblox Pro Academy World. And uh, you can find it in Roblox and join. This is a special world that we built for Roblox Pro Academy. It has uh, several secret levels so you can join and find some interesting hidden stuff here for example we have this tower that you can 
check and you will find places, examples of what we finished in every lesson. Then we have this secret house that you can see in front of me. It has a interesting puzzle, like five level game, that is special for our students. They can join, have fun. We implemented some cool mechanics that you can also try, so I really recommend you to do it. And this one is this special place called AI Lab that I'm going to join. And here I published all these changes, this generative AI, which I'm going to show you right now. So here, super simple level, we have teleport back, and we have three stands. They all use the same logic, so when you come to it, it shows some UI here, where you have selector for your head, for your body, and for your legs. You can select some of these and click generate and the generation will start so if you don't select anything just click generate it will randomly pre-select your elements here so while it's loading i will just briefly show you how does it work so it's super simple every item that i selected has its textual representation and when I click generate button, it just combine all together and, and generate the prompt that I feed to generative service uh, from Roblox. And it do all this magic. It create me mesh, the texture. So I think it may need to wait just a few seconds and to fully generate it. Okay, looks uh, interesting. So this is our monster. It has no eyes for some reason. I don't know why, but looks weird. <laughs> and now let's wait for the second one. Also, it was randomly specified. We have the body head. Nice. Looks looks super weird. So next I'm going to show how does it work. I will share the source code. I have all it published in a public repository in GitHub. And the next we'll go through the code and I will show the structure, how you can replicate it on your machine. Here is my Git repository, which, which is public and it has a description what you need to do and how you need to structure all your elements inside Roblox Studio. I will leave all these links about the video so you can open this and follow the instruction and you will be able to recreate everything on your own. And let me quickly show how you can do it inside the Roblox Studio. Here is my Roblox Studio and this is my scene. You need a few scripts read the readme file so you need to build and organize the same structure for the stand so it should have the script in the right place because they are referenced on each other you need to have this pro proximity prompt and you need to place client and server script in, in appropriate folders so here we have starter player starter character scripts and you need to copy and paste three scripts from the repo so these two scripts are just for UI. The main script is monster generator. This is how I generate the prompt. I have all this text in so you can reuse. In Git repository, I uploaded all these icons I used. Also, you need the server side script, which is this mesh generation server. It's super simple. So it has events. When I click generate button on the UI, it send event to server. Server use generation service, generate mesh, and send the prompt into this function. Once mesh is ready, it notify backs client that mesh is ready. 
and then plant load mesh in the stand. Now we are going to check how does it work. Roblox shares information what model do they use. It's free, it's open source, so you can download it and try it on your own, on your machine. We have article published by Roblox, which describes how the the model works, what they are planning to do next. And they also mentioned it and added links here so you can scroll down and see a link to GitHub and Hugging Face. They also have some interactive version. I think it's here so you can click on it and it's instead of doing this inside Roblox Studio or inside game, you can add prompt here. You can try to do it here. What we did with medieval wooden chair. The result should be the same as we had inside Roblox Studio. But again, this is just model that built mesh without texture. It's a different one. But you got the idea. So you can also generate, try it here in the interactive mode. The idea will, will is the same. Thanks for watching my video. I am Alex from Roblox Pro Academy. Feel free to reach me in Discord, subscribe to our social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay tuned and also join our Roblox Pro Academy. It has a free course that you can start today and do with us lessons and build super exciting castle. So stay tuned and see you soon.